Hey y'all, what is up everybody? What is up YouTube, YouTube? Spark Mark Mark and I'm back to do a review. Another TV show review. This is minus we're gonna have to be a re-review of the previous video of the Dexter's Laboratory series. Due to the fact there were some issues and I had to look it up and yeah, I had to change it. So yeah, this is a re-review. I'm gonna do a review and this is about Dexter's Laboratory. Now, this series, well, going back of course, I was a youngster, didn't even know much about it. I even knew that about this series until I saw it over the years, and I didn't even know there was a pilot that would be showcased for the water cartoon show at Hanna Barbera, basing on a student films, on student films he produced, the California Institution of Arts, done by Fred Siebert. This was his first animated, uh, he did first animated shorts showcase for the, for the water cartoons and then aired it for the four pilots, which indeed aired between from, from winter 95 until 1996. And it had the ratings leading to a four hour and a half series. No, actually pff, led to a half hour series. So yeah, so let's start going from the very beginning, how it started. Here it is of the What A Cartoon Shows. Now going back here, this aired on February 26, 1995, about two months before my fourth birthday. And directed and created and written by George Trufkowski. Yes, that George Strakowski. And this is going to be part of the series. Here's the plot. Here we have our main characters. That we're seeing in this one. And the minor role is the mother. Cool script supervisor. So yeah, after Dexter's Laboratory was picked up as a series by Cartoon Network, this show, this short was renamed and change and changes for subsequently for all subsequently airings so yeah here's the promo if anybody remember seeing this photo i don't even know it was distributed back then here's a sequence and then we see our characters so yeah it was beloved by, and the response and everything were beloved by a lot of fans. So yeah, let's go back up. All right, appearances, personalities. Mm-hmm. So yeah, here we have Professor Williams. That's another. That's another. That's a feature. I'm not gonna play it because I don't like getting flagged for copyright infringement. Here we have the family. Also, we'll be having like segments in the series, like um, M for Monkey, M for Monkey, who is the hero, and then who is the animal monkey hero. And then we have a, then we have another segment that I'm pretty sure you fans are familiar with, the Justice Friends. You have Major Glory, Rock and Roller, then Helen, then ha Halen, and the Incredible Crunk. The Justice Friends. Now that's one of the best, as well as M for Monkey. So yeah. But let's not discuss about those. We're talking about the series. Let's go on. Alrighty. And for the Water Cartoon show, it had a few of the episodes. One was the pilot, debuting a non-screening of Dexter's mom and Dee Dee and himself, Dexter. And this was the first pilot of pilot episode of Dexter's Laboratory. The other three, one is Big Sister, Old Man Dexter, Dumb Like Dee Dee. And the mom is first is the first character to speak in this episode, which was the pilot, obviously. 
making her the first character in the entire series to speak, and she's the first character to appear on screen. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Big Sister aired on March of 1996, a month before my fifth birthday that year. Old Man Dexter aired on March 24, 1996, that same time, a week after the second airing. And then, uh, that was Old Man Dexter. Did I, did I say that right? Yes, I did. And then Dumb Like Dee Dee was aired on March 25th, the third week. Dim, Dim Wit Dexter is what it's called. So yeah, all released a month before my fifth birthday that year. So yeah, the endurances of the cult statuses of its of its airing, the show, it's a, a child parody, a prodigy who's a genius and a bit of a smart, uh, I'm not going to say a smart, I mean smart aleck or anything, but a little bit of the superiority of how this character is. And, um... And yes, this character is a genius, the boy genius, and a trivia for anyone that doesn't know about this or not is that um, the voice of Dexter, originally voiced by the amazing and talented Christine Cavanaugh, who voiced Dexter for the few seasons of Dexter's Laboratory, until ultimately being replaced by another voice actress named uh, Sandy Milo, who... Uh, well, Christine Cavanaugh voiced Dexter for 55 episodes, played in seasons 1 and 2, and only a few in the early episodes of season 3. And then uh, and Candy Milo voiced Dexter for the rest of the series. So yeah, amazing voice actress. So yeah, she has done a number of voice acting in her career. Bunny, Bud Smith, which, of course, we know the Smith family very, very well. Until her final project was Birdie in the Wacky Adventures fi uh, series, film series, a trilogy to be exact. And 2003 marked the last one by the time she was, like, in her 40s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, by her 40s. And did play the library kid, who, of course, in one episode of Recess, had a little vibe of Dexter. A little vibe. Not too much. Just the vibe. One of the diggers, Sue Bob Murphy. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then for live actions, she appeared in television shows. I don't, And then TV film. Two TV films, and the last one being um, the episode of ER. So yeah, and sadly we will lose the amazing talent on, on December twenty second of twenty fourteen, ten years ago. Wow. God rest her soul. And for the creator of the series, did acknowledge of the creator of Dexter said that. Citing Christine's death as a factor in his refusal to create a reboot series. Thank God you're not rebooting Dexter because the original series and the film and the TV films, cartoon films, remain wonderfully astounding. There is no way to reboot the series. And it will never be the same without Christine Cavanaugh, who did the first three and a half seasons. And here's the creator... And he's a Russian dude. Who, of course, brought us amazing projects. This one, Dexter's Lab, and then Samurai Jack, Star Wars, Clone Wars, Symbionic Titan, the Hotel Transylvania series and I mean, films, Primal and Unicorn, Warrior and Warriors Internal. So yeah, he's well known for that, been around since the late 80s. Here he is in 2012 at a convention. Great dude. And he was the creator 
as well for seasons one and four of the Powerpuff Girls with directing duties, script writings and stuff. And this is also, he's not just the writer, he's also the director. This is the dude that brought, that gave us the Hotel Transylvania series. The films, of course. So, shouts to you, George. And also, the majority of the series was produced by him, but and the creator, George Trefkovsky, that's his name, departed from the last two, uh, departed in 2003, in November of that year. And the last two seasons only did the producing duties went for Chris Savino, who would later produce The Loud House, many years later for Nickelodeon. So yeah, and this and the series won three um, Annie Awards with animate with nominations for four Primetime Emmy Awards, four Golden Reel Awards, nine Annie Awards, and this notable for helping launch the careers of animators, which here are their names. Then did spin-off media, including children's book, books, comic books from DVDs and VHS releases, music albums, toys and game, video games, you name it. Amazing. And also, um, another voice actor is also actor by the name of Eddie Deason, if I said his name right. Who, of course, we later, we know him from another role that he did in the late 70s, which was um, the movie Grease, as Eugene Felsnick, if I said the name right. Also, he was in Laser Blast. So, yeah, distributed by Full Moon. So, yeah, great dude. He's not just an actor. He's also a voice. And he's not just a voice actor. He's a actor as well. And he also uh, was one of the so yeah he has done quite a few films, and he came and he was in War Games, as Eddie Eddie Mel Malvin, with Matthew Broderick and uh, Dolby Col Danby Coleman if I said his name right, and he was also voicing Seagull in the SpongeBob movie. But he also was the know-it-all kid in motion capture of Polar Express. Great dude. I hope I meet him one of these days. He's a great actor and voice actor. Christine Cavanaugh is also a great voice actress and actress. So, yeah. And also, I'm not so sure about the, the character of Dee Dee. Because I think she reminds me of one of the other sister from the TV show. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong or so. Um, um, what do you call it? She kind of sounds a little bit, a bit little bit to the sister from the Brady Bunch series. Um, not Cindy, maybe Marsha Brady. I'm not so sure. Maybe she does kind of have remind me of, of Marsha in a way, but not too much of it. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Correct me in the comments about it. So yeah, endured for many years by the creator, and he has done a lot of good projects giving us the franchise. So yeah, as of a, as of a year ago in 2023, there were, he was thinking about doing a reboot and under and uninterested doing a reboot for the series because of the passing of the actress Christine Cavanaugh's passing in 2014. So yeah, thank God. Thank you. You're not giving us a reboot. Thank you. So yeah, 21 years, by the way, since its last, um, whatchamacallit, the last episode aired. The movie was released on December of 1999, around the time my friend turned nine that year. And I was eight back then, and another friend, two of my other friends were nine, and some of them were, one of them was five and six. So, yeah. And they did reruns, even on Boomerang. And thank God we're going to be getting it back on another tune uh, place that they can do reruns.
And also, I'm praying one of these days, I'm praying that it could get a Blu-ray release. Because right now, as of the summer, coming in a month, we're going to be getting the series, the complete series, on a DVD set coming on June. Which, I'm sort of liking it, but meh. And it will, and also, it'll include every episode, except for two episodes that were banned. No, three episodes that were banned from this set. Ba the banned episodes are not going to be appearing as Dial M for Monkey and Barbequire, uh, Barb Queer, I can't even say this name, I'll butcher it, and Rude Removal. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. Maybe those episodes were not well received by fans or so. Didn't hear any complaints about it. Also, it will include the movie Ego Trip from 1999. And yes, this has been released in home medias on volume sets, experiments, other things. And multipacks, here it is. On multipack, sorry, and then music releases with hip hops back to the lab again. I'll leave you the link in the description box down below. Also, the cartoon cartoons introduction to cartoon cartoon Fridays. Anybody remembers that? Let me know in the comments down below. So, yeah, so. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite episode of Dexter? What is your favorite voice actor, voice actress? And also, um, and also, do you like the Ego Trip movie? Let me know as well in the comments. And indeed, um, this series is a fun, is a fun, fun um, show to watch once in a while or maybe... Aesthetically, when if you're bored, maybe you could watch this show. And this is up there that's connected with the Powerpuff Girls, Johnny Bravo, and stuff. The, again, this is the mid '90s, dudes and dudettes. So let me know in the comments what is your favorite episode, what do you like about it, maybe what you don't like about it, and let me know, folks. So yeah, that escalated quite quickly. So if you like content like this or other content, please click the bell and the subscribe button to be notified of all new uploads. Like the videos, always appreciate the thumbs ups. Any opinions related to the video and questioning, comments down below. So yeah. And also I'm in the YouTube community, community I often post what time I post videos at a certain time and what time um, that it'll be showing. So keep an eye on that as well, including pre-order videos and stuff. So, y'all, this is Sparky Marky Mark signing off. Y'all take care. God bless you. Hear you. And see you on the next vid. Enjoy the weekend, y'all. And later.